Now I'm sure you've seen before bug hotels and the things that you can buy in your garden centers, things like that, little boxes for masonry bees, things like that. And this is a spin on it. This is my wildlife wall. And it's a really good space saving solution. Just between two fence posts, I've built up within the framework of the fence that also acts as a screen. Now there are a few general rules with building anything like this. One of the first ones is to have it a meter off the floor so that any kind of wildlife that are making their way here, that they feel safe and protected from any predators. Another thing is to make sure that it's secure so that if you've got any strong winds, that we don't get a big shake again so that they feel safe and secure. One of the third things, it's really important for it to have a covering, to have a roof. As you'll see, I have not got one on mine yet because I've not finished. This is kind of still in its early doors uh, process. So I've still got a few more things to put in there and then I'll go on to installing a roof that will just come over here and hang with a little lip over for water to run off. When creating your wildlife wall, it's really important to start with a strong foundation. Now I've used a piece of timber straight across and it's got two battens connected in between the fence supports. The timber I've used is larch. Larch is really good for outdoors. It weathers really well and it has antibacterial properties. So it's gonna last for a really long time as well. It tends to silver as the years go on, creating a really nice look. From there, I've just put some wire across just to secure it. And I've used U-nails with that, hammered them right through. And from there, you start building up. I made it a process with my daughter we went out to the woods and we'd collect sticks and we'd collect cones anything that we could get our hands on to really help um, build this up i've used terracotta pots here and filled it with bark we've used logs we've got some offcuts from grasses they're my um carex grasses that i cut back so i've used them as well and over time they will compost down but and they'll need replacing but for now they'll do the job a different wildlife prefer different locations. A log pile on the floor where it's slightly wet, damp and darker, that's going to attract frogs. But somewhere like this, put in the right location, in the sun, then you are going to attract species of mason bees. They'll love something like this. And um, when you fill out these holes here, that'll be great for your wood lice, things like that. And then over here is ideal for your mason bees. But what's really important that at the end of summer is that you clear these out otherwise you're going to attract mites and parasites and you don't want any diseases also fungal growth so make sure it's all cleared out now here i've got some wood chip from caledonian horticulture i've got some spare and it's really good to use in these bricks now these bricks are going to create a really kind of dry space so this wood chip isn't going to compost down anytime soon so it'll provide a really good home for any insects and mini beasts all you have to do is just pop them in like so, and that'll create a really nice habitat.